It's no secret the city of Corpus Christi has had its share of financial troubles lately, and now some questions being raised about how wisely the city is spending some of your tax dollars. And you just may not believe what we found when we did some digging. Six News has learned the city spent nearly $10,000 on a piece of equipment that's really little more than a kitchen timer that you would use to boil your, to time your boiled eggs. Steve Romo has more Six News investigators. It's something you probably don't think of much, the timer that buzzes when residents have used their three minutes of public comment at city council meetings. Back in March, the city noticed a problem. The request for repairs shows the timer was working, but it does not buzz. Seems like a simple enough fix, but Gina Sanchez, facilities manager, approved the purchase of more than $9,600 for a new timer. So we called her to ask how it could possibly cost so much taxpayer money. Actually, you need to get a hold of um, uh, Kim Womack in public relations. Do you have her number? We do have her number, but I wanted to give Sanchez an opportunity to speak for herself. I understand. I just, I just really wanted to let you have the chance to explain, but there's, a, there's nothing you'd like to say about the $10,000 buzzer? Um, I think I've told you that repeatedly that Kim is the contact, so she can answer any questions you have. Kim Womack and the City Public Relations Department told us they have no information on the project. They directed us back to Sanchez. But when we tried... Hello, you've reached Gina Sanchez, facility manager for the City of Corpus Christi. And tried... Leave a message and I'll gladly return your call. Have a wonderful day. Sanchez did not call us back. We headed down to City Hall to speak with City Secretary Armando Chapa, whose office put in the request for repairs. He tells us he has nothing to do with the purchasing of the new timer, and he couldn't answer any questions. He, too, directed us back to Sanchez. We did find some Corpus Christi residents who were unhappy to hear about the purchase. For a buzzer, no, you have to think better for this taxpayer's money. And that's where it's going. $10,000. That's ridiculous. No, not with the way things are now. They're letting teachers go. These folks didn't mind sharing their views, but no one from the city wanted to answer the questions of why such a little buzz could cost so much taxpayer money. Stephen Romo, KRIS 6 News. And here's some more details about the purchase. $9,550 went to Moffitt Controls and Consulting located in Portland. About $80 went to Home Depot. Would you please turn that off? I, I'm sorry, if you, is yeah. there something would you, you... Would you please turn it off? Is there something would that you, you need to... Would you set it down? Gina Sanchez is the facilities manager for the city of Corpus Christi. According to documents obtained by Six News, it was Sanchez who okayed the purchase of this new nearly $10,000 timing system in City Hall. We went to her office today to ask her why she approved so much for what seems like an ordinary timer. There's more to the system. It's not just a timer. There, there's more to it. Well, but, it's but a hardware. It has, it's, I mean, you know, it is a timer, wires. right? I mean, that's what it does. It, it times things. Um, it, it does more than that. What, what, what more does it do? It, it, it has other capabilities. <laughs> Well, you know, it's there's more to it than just a timer. Sanchez didn't tell us anything the system could do other than count down from 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, or 15 minutes. She did, however, say that part of that $10,000 included taking the old system out and putting the new system in, as well as programming of that new system as well. Is this wasteful spending? No. This is very good because this has got a 20-year life on it. But couldn't a timer just do the same thing? No, because of what the nature of what um, their needs are. I mean, there's needs no law are. that says you have to have a $10,000 well, system. And, you know, that's true. They could put an egg timer, but it's a kitchen egg timer that sits there. Right. You could do that, you know, but that's not what council, council likes a professional environment, and that's what we do. Today, City Hall was all a buzz, or maybe all beeping over this. It's a timing system in City Hall Chambers with a nearly $10,000 price tag. All right, this is how this system works. This is where the city secretary sits right here. He's got a panel over on this wall where he can put one, three, five, ten minutes. It's three minutes for public comment. So the speaker over here knows exactly how much time they have on the clock. So does the council. There's a clock right here on the front. There's a clock right here on the back. So when that three minutes is over, everyone in the audience, including the speaker, will know exactly how much time is left and they'll know exactly when their time is up.
Although I got to tell you, if, if I had been involved on the front end, I'd have probably said, let's hold off on that one. Let's get a temporary timer of some kind and, and uh, put the money to better use in other places. Olson suggested using an hourglass to keep time. The point maybe now wasn't the right time for this system. Assistant City Manager Oscar Martinez agrees and says our story has the city paying closer attention to where city money is going, especially since the city is now looking at an $11 million budget hold this year. We're going to have a lot of dialogue on going forward to make sure that we have a system that is as efficient as possible at, for an organization and for the public. Martinez says now they're reviewing their process to find out how an item like this didn't get more review or at least get postponed. Keaton Fox, KRIS 6 News.